hello guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to make potato porridge so let's get into the cooking process for the ingredients you'll be needing palm oil onions tomato paste scotch bonnet peppers you can use as many peppers as you like i'm also using shumbo pepper i'm using fresh tomatoes salt stock cubes cameroon pepper and crayfish I'm also going to be using carrots, sweet corn, sweet sweet potato, and African spinach. So we're going to start by boiling our potatoes. I've already cut my potatoes into small chunks. So I'm going to cover this to boil and leave it till it's almost cooked. So after boiling for a few minutes, use a fork to check if it's cooked. Just ensure you don't overcook your potatoes. So our potato is ready for cooking. In the pot, add in your palm oil and let it heat for a minute. Now add in your chopped onions. Stir and let to fry for a few minutes. You can check out the quantity of ingredients I used for this recipe in the description box below. Add in your tomato paste, stir, so don't leave this to fry till it's crumbly, this would help get rid of the tangy taste. Now I'm going to add in my blended tomatoes, I blended my tomatoes together with my scotch bonnet pepper, stir properly to combine. Now add in your seasoning, you can choose to add any spice of your choice, you can add curry, garlic, ginger or paprika, whatever you like. So I'm just going to cover this and leave it to boil till it reduces in quantity. Now I'm going to add in my chopped shumbo pepper, also known as cayenne pepper. You can decide to blend yours together with your tomatoes and scotch bonnet pepper. Now add in your chopped carrots. Stir till it well combined. Now I'm going to add some water to reduce the sauce. Now I'm going to add in my crayfish. So my crayfish is the last thing I added because I don't like to fry my crayfish because it's um, frying the crayfish intensifies the flavor which I don't really like in my dishes so I like to add it after I've finished frying. Now I'm going to add in my cooked potatoes. My potatoes just changed color. I soaked it in water before boiling it but I don't know why it still changed color please if you have any idea of how to prevent sweet potatoes from changing its color please let me know in the comment section below thank you so 
I'm going to stir this till it's well combined. So I started the potato series two weeks ago and if you're interested in watching other potato dishes such as potato wedges and potato skillet, a video will play right after this video and I'm also going to paste a link in the description box below and also in the comment section. So I'm going to add a little water to loosen it up. You can also add milk stock if you like. Now I'm going to add in my African spinach popularly known as green leaves in Nigeria. These green leaves add a lot of flavor to your potato porridge. Stir properly to combine. Now I'm just going to garnish this with some sweet corn. This is optional. So if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So I'm just going to cover this to cook for a few minutes. Now our potato is ready. So I'd like to know what you guys think about this recipe. Would you rather stick to your yam porridge or you try out potato porridge? If you like this video, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.